Hello everybody, welcome back to Miriam Cass channel. Today will be a video of what we eat in the day vegan here in Pushka. Pushka is an amazing city for food, for vegans. There's so many options. And I thought it would be a very cool idea to show you everything we eat in a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, that will be vegan. It might not necessarily be like Indian food, but everything here will be in Pushka. So if you're also in Pushka and you're vegan, this will be a good video for you. But anyways, right now we are off to breakfast. It is really early in the morning, like it's 10 to 8, I think. And we are very early birds because we have a baby. She wakes up really early, then she gets hungry, and we get angry, and then we have to look for food. So basically, this is what we are doing right now. The streets are super, super quiet. And we found this place, like a cafe, called the Honey and Spice, which we are outside right now it's apparently supposed to have a lot of vegan options so this is where we are going right now it opens in 10 minutes because it's 10 to 8 opens at 8 and i'm super excited to see what they have what options we can get here for vegans and just have good food hopefully so here we are Arella and josh are already settling in i think the restaurant is still closed we are like the first guests of today's day but we are hungry so they're already looking at the menu Arella, you looking at the menu as well <laughs> So here we have one of the menus from Honey and Spice. It's a breakfast menu. As you can see, there's a lot of options. Most of them are vegan. There is only a few that are not vegan, but can be made vegan. So we're about to order our food. We just ordered our drinks and I cannot wait to see what is going to turn out because we are getting some variety of different things. We decided we will go for porridge, sandwich, and sort of like a bowl filled with tofu, veggies, millet and stuff like that which is kind usually not pretty much a buddha bowl kind of so it's like a buddha bowl which usually is not really a breakfast item but because it's on the breakfast menu we thought you know what let's check it out maybe we are here for a surprise i just got my tea i decided to get something different and have a rose tea which is very unusual here it's very like water with a tint of rose which is perfect for this very cold morning here I need something really warm because my hands are freezing, basically. So a porridge has just arrived, as you can see, banana, dates, porridge, and they actually put a lot of fruits in there. So Arella is going to have a big face, it looks super good. And then we have a sandwich, which has shiitake mushroom, tofu, salad, aubergine, and it looks super nice. They even put these like crisps there, which is like, wow, that is actually very nice a lot of effort has been paid and then we are just waiting for a third dish right now but for now let's just dig in let's start eating so if you're wondering what arella eating she's actually sharing our food we usually get something for arella so today she's obviously going to have this porridge but she also eats the food that we eat just not spicy not a lot of salt but as you can see she's trying to pick out our food now mm. This is so good. It's a very unusual sandwich, but it tastes so good. Trying to put it all in my mouth at once to taste the flavors, not possible. And never laugh. You eating? Are you moaning? Because she can see my sandwich, and this is what she wants. I'm getting my sandwich, huh? I'm So here we have the last breakfast dish from the menu, which is this bowl full of veggies, mullet, stuff like that, which is more like a lunch. But we decided let's try it out and get some. Hello guys and welcome back for lunch. We decided it would be a very cool idea to try one of these rooftop restaurants because this must be on your bucket list if you're ever in Pushka. You have to try to be in a restaurant on the rooftop so you can see an amazing view and just have some amazing lunch. So here we are in out of the blue restaurant here in Pushka with this amazing view. And we will order some food. It's like an Indian restaurant here, so not vegan but Indian restaurants have a lot of vegan options so being a vegan here in India is like the easiest thing ever so here we are this is the view that we can see here from the top here is the restaurant it's looking out of the blue like the name suggests here we have Arella very very hungry and we have an amazing view and actually 
we were just on that hill so this is the menu and actually there's so many different options it's not just indian food but you have also a lot of western food so whatever you fancy whether you fancy some indian food whether you fancy some western food this place has it all we have just ordered our food most of it is going to be indian food we also have a pasta for umbrella and some chips because we just felt like something crunchy and we're waiting for our food and in a minute i'll show you what we got so here we are now and check out arella i did this little like turban on her and she already broke my glasses and she's breaking them further so here is our food we decided to go for some rice and this is actually jira rice which means with cumin some ala gobi which is uh, one of our favorite indian dishes here it's basically potato and cauliflower curry some pasta for arella and some ala jira which is potatoes in cumin we usually get some sort of salad but it seems to be expensive for salads in this place so that is our vegan food lunch meal here So now it's time for dessert and yesterday we have found this place as you can see here with vegan ice cream and lots of juices and we tried this ice cream yesterday and it's like the best ice cream very, here in very. Asia hello we would like some ice cream Oreo, Oreo. we love that Oreo flavor you want one for yourself two, two ice cream so they actually have so many different flavors yes Chiku. This one chiku. Okay. This one chocolate almond. Chocolate almond. Peanut butter. Yes, coconut. And coconut with dates yes. and walnuts. Yes. Okay, so basically a lot of flavors and they're all made fresh with no added sugar. The only sweetness in here is dates. And it tastes absolutely delicious. So we will have some right now. So this is what the ice cream looks like. It's Oreo flavor. It's our favorite one. And it pretty much tastes like caramel. It's so good. The texture is like perfect. We had a lot of vegan ice cream here in India and most of them are not good. The texture is like shredded coconut, but this one is really creamy. What's the matter? It's made out of um, almond milk. This one. Almond milk and special kind of dates. Now it's time for dinner. And we decided that we wanted to try another rooftop restaurant. And the name of this place that we are here right now is Tiko. It's like in the middle of Pushka also. And we have this beautiful view right now, which I'm about to show you. And what's good about this place is that it's very unknown. It doesn't really even have a lot of reviews on TripAdvisor, but they have a giant menu and like everything can be made vegan so we are just sitting on this table right now and check this view out we have this beautiful view of the holy lake here in pushka which is just super amazing here is the menu here of tiko like i was saying and they have literally a giant menu so this is the bad boy we decided to get it's got this like vegan cheese on top oh, look at this giant pizza very simple along with some fries that arena is currently trying to steal even eggless mayonnaise oh my gosh let's try this bad boy mm, super fresh crust really thin pizza good job what do you think so crunchy tasty okay it's good Bella, she hasn't started yet, but I'm sure she'll like her pizza very shortly. So that wraps up the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the places that we have visited today. And if you're ever here in Pushka, then don't forget to visit those places that sell amazing vegan food. I hope this gives you a kind of like a perspective of what we eat in a day. Every day is of course different, different cities, different food. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!